Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya. Today I'm just uh, getting ready from getting ready for work, um, and I'm gonna just show you how I put my makeup on. Um, I'm gonna be mixing the two Becca primers. Uh, this is the first. What is it called? Yeah, first light priming filter, and this is the backlight priming filter. And then I'm also going to mix a little bit of the Buxom Show Some Skin um, Weightless Foundation in the shade You're Natural. This is kind of going to give a similar finish to the, um, what's that called? Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, Hollywood Flawless Filter. Except that one uh, just irritates my skin. It has bismuth oxychloride and it just makes me uh, itch all the time. Like as soon as I put it on. So quickly mixing these three together and I'll show you how much I do. One pump of both primers and then just a tiny little like pea sized amount of the um, foundation. And it's really sheer that foundation. I don't do this every day. A lot of the times I just use a sheer powder. And because these primers are slightly hydrating and um, but not too like emollient this will last all day but it won't show any um, dry texture that I'm having because I normally get dry around my nose and under my eyes and on my nose too I'm just gonna check in the mirror So it's like super duper duper light coverage, uh, but I just like the glow that it gives and the glow will last like throughout the day. So then I'm gonna go in with the YSL Touche Clot in the shade 1.5, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. just a little bit if I put too much concealer around my nose this way I saw one too it'll show dry skin or dry flakes you see how like that just brightened really nicely You just need a tiny amount. But I'm okay with some of that darkness coming through. Okay. I think that's good enough for me. And then I have the KKW Brightening Powder in the shade number three. I also had her concealer. Oh shoot, I dug my nail in it. That's the one thing I hate about this powder. It's so hard to open. I'll, I'll sit here struggling and then sometimes I won't even use it just because I can't open it. Um, but I had her concealer as well, and I, it wasn't, I didn't love it. Um, I bought the shade 5, and it was supposed to have like a yellow undertone. Um, but it was like a little dark for my skin tone. I like just a small bit of brightening. Um, and then all the shades below number 5, I think, like lean 
warm or I'm sorry um, pink toned so I just gave that away um, so I just put a tiny little bit to set and like add a little bit more coverage I also don't use this every day I think I prefer my uh, hourglass diffused light I like that that one has um, a little like shimmer and glow to it I don't like to look matte and sometimes with this um, it'll look like really stark I'm not even close enough and then also it'll look dry so this is dirty here okay hopefully it doesn't look dry up close but whatever and if you want to see the color it looks like pale yellow and here's this one So now I'm going to go in with um, just a little bit of setting powder and the one I'm going to use, or just foundation powder, whatever you want to call it. The one I'm going to use is uh, by Burberry, it's the Sheer Nude or Nude Powder in the shade Ochre Nude. This also has like a slight glow to it, but this powder's texture is so nice. Um, I just can't find it anymore. Um, it used to be available on the Nordstrom website, even Sephora. Um, I haven't checked Burberry's website, so it might be there. I'm just gonna put like a small dusting of that all over my face, and I'm just using the Wayne Goss airbrush brush. It looks terrible because this is my favorite brush. Now I'm going in with the Makeup Forever bronzer just a little bit and I hit pan really nicely. Um, and then I'll go in with some Surratt blushes afterwards, but this is just a quick bronzing. I don't want too much. So I have three Surratt blushes. Oops. Um, this one is called Potapash. This one I think is Chalor. And this one is Flame. And I'll swatch these two. Okay, so uh, there's still a swatch of the uh, KKW Beauty brightening powder here. But um, this is Potapash, Chalor, and Flame. Uh, Chalor is the only matte, oh no, I'm sorry, um, Chalor and Potapesh are kind of like matte, but Surratt's matte, it's, I don't know, it doesn't have like a shimmery sheen to it, but it's, it's really pretty, um, it looks like skin, um, and then the flame has just a tiny bit of shimmer in it, uh, I don't know which one I'm gonna put on, I'll do Chalor first, and then... I no normally just like mix because they're all together in this palette. Does this mirror work? Mm -hmm. And this is the Wayne Goss, I think, 14 brush. This might be the old version. I know he's like changed some brushes that he's created to have like the white hairs on it, so. I don't know how similar or different the bristles are. I take my blush everywhere too, depending on my mood. So that was Chalor and it kind of just like warmed me up a little bit, but um, it's still sort of like rosy bronze. I am gonna add just a tiny bit of the orange flame color.
these blushes go on so easily. Uh, I'm just doing it quickly, but if you wanted to do it, um, have like a super nice glam kind of look, these are really easy to work with, but also if you just like throw it on like how I'm doing, it looks great too. not to be late for work okay and so for my eyebrows I'm gonna do the benefit gimme brow in the shade number two my eyebrows are black and my hair is this kind of brown um, so I I use this to kind of just like add a little bit of a uh, warm light brown to give dimension like how my hair looks And I'm just like, sorry, I don't know if you saw that, but just throw it all in there. And then, so I dipped it again, and then I'll use an entire, like, dip on one side. feel so far away from the mirror, so I hope everything turned out okay. Yeah, my under eyes uh, are nicely, nicely brightened with that uh, KKW powder. I can um, film like updates throughout the day too, just to see how everything wears, um, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of all matter. And I would add mascara today, but it's in my purse and I have to go to work. So I will uh, be back throughout the day just to show you how this is wearing, but that's how face looks. It's nice. I like um, wearing like coverage on a day to day basis because when I add a lot of coverage and if I'm like super dry that day, it just is emphasized. Uh, the dryness is emphasized. So, yep. All right. Bye. Hey, I am back for my final check in. Um, so, I'm looking underneath my eyes. It's five o'clock right now. Um, and I have a lot of uh, like you can tell. My concealer has worn off, which is fine, um, but not only has it worn off, um, my dryness in this area is super emphasized. I'm not sure if you can tell in this lighting, um, but I know I put on the YSL Touche Clot and then also the KKW Beauty Powder. That powder is drying, um, I think drier than the uh, Hourglass Diffuse Light uh, Powder. And then obviously the YSL is drier than the Sisley concealer um, that I've also been using. So the combination of the two just like looks a little crusty. It looks bright, but it looks a little crusty uh, when I come up. Let's see. Seeing like looking this close after working all day like makes me cross-eyed. Um, so I don't know if you can tell. Not the best camera, but... All right, that's enough close up. Um, overall, let's see. My, I have a little bit of color in my cheeks still. In person, um, my makeup looks okay. I'm not like too bothered by it, especially from like this far away. Um, it looks like presentable. I don't mind like being at work like this. Um, but yeah, everything else looks nice. Um, I put on a sheer. Uh, coverage all over my face this morning so you really can't like tell anything too bad I did scratch here so you can kind of tell it's red here too um but that's it it doesn't look as noticeable um in person as it does through the camera too so um I think that lasted everything else lasted really well uh besides the concealer I just I don't think I like the combination of uh the YSL with the KKW beauty powder on top anyway so next time I um do the KKW 
powder, I'll probably use the Sicily concealer underneath or maybe like no concealer at all. Um, as I find that concealer sometimes dry me out. Uh, whereas if I don't do anything, just powder, it's fine. Anyway, um, so that's how everything else wore if you wanted to see how I look at the end of the day. So yeah, see you soon.